Hey everybody and welcome to Peak Life. I'm Jim Hazel. We have a special uh, Peak Life segment here for us. We have Katie Bates, six feet to my left, safely here, cancer survivor and Brahaha committee member. Thanks for coming. Yes, thanks for having me today. So it's the Brahaha is coming up. Comes up every October. It does. It's been around for a while. I've seen a lot of it, but for those who haven't seen it, it's got something to do with bras, obviously. It what does. do we got? It does. So the Brahaha is a seriously uplifting event. Um, we have an award show and auction every every fall um, that comes up. Very fun. And yeah, you get to decorate. Um, whatever theme you want. Um, there are lots of categories that you can choose from um, and get creative. So artists, they pick out their bra, they, they all have to use the same bra and they, they decorate do. them. They do. Yep, it has that. to be a 38C underwire back hook closure bra. Right. And it does have to be completely get covered. Get that straight. Yes, <laughs> has to be that size and completely covered. That, uh -huh. That's our biggest thing. So we want to see things going all the way around. Right. We want to see that creativity. And then they, they have themes and they have like notices on them. Like I see this one, it says help erase breast cancer. So it does. that's the idea is you come up with the slogans and things like it that. It does. So they've kind of named this one um, and then their inspiration for this one, her mom had breast cancer, so okay. that's what her inspiration was um, to write this and to help erase breast cancer. Right, and this one is obviously the Mardi the Gras. Mardi Gras bra. Ha, ha. Yes, yes. This was actually um, best Mardi Gras inspired. Uh, won one of the categories oh, that's last a category year. Category in and of itself. It was. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That's awesome. So, and now I know the event changes from year to year and does different things. I remember when it started it was just like in a tent in a parking lot, but. Now it's really grown into something, but because of COVID-19, it is now something else. It's, it's a virtual thing. Tell us about it that. It is. Uh, so it's going to be the Brahaha virtual. So it's going to be kind of reconstructed this year. Mm -hmm. um, so they have a, a couple of cool differences coming up. Um, it will premiere on our Facebook page Friday evening, October 23rd. Okay. So you'll be able to see um, those are all the finalists that are going to be coming up. And there's um, 13, right? There will be. See how much 13 I know. categories. <laughs> so, yeah, there can be 13 winners. Um, one of those will be best in show okay. as well. Um, so it's uh, we have new new categories this year, too. Ooh, tell uh, we us have, about that. We have People's Choice, um, right. which is really neat because everybody's going to get to vote. Oh. And you're going to get to go see them. And would you vote on the Facebook? Or so yeah, they'll be um, able to do that. And I believe they're also going to um, have it where you can vote when you go see them at the malls. Okay, so people can, even though it is virtual, we yes. can find these bras in our neighborhood You somewhere. will, yes. So. Um, October 23rd through November 1st, you'll find them at Greenbrier Dillard's. Okay. And November 3rd, through the 10th, you'll find them center court at Lynn Haven Mall. Uh, perfect. That, there, there's no excuse not to take a look then, right? That's right. And, and uh, you can go online and see them when, when you want. So. And, and then we do raise money this way too, right? We Tell do. us about, I mean, it's just a silent auction I'm aware of, but yes. is that the only way that we raise money? Or? So it'll have the silent auction um, going virtually this year as well. So the silent auction is going to run from October 19th through the 23rd. Um, and yes, there are multiple ways uh, that they help to raise money within the, the community. Um, the, the bras, the entries. Um. Right. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, if, if it's virtual, then does that mean the people will submit them virtually as well? Is we that... actually do have that option this year. Um, okay. So you can turn them in. You can design them um, just like that we've done in years past, right. and you can come to the drop-off to turn them in um, okay. to be displayed and to be judged. We also have a virtual category this year, um, which is really neat. Um, they can do a digital option. Um, maybe if somebody is not super into crafting. Right, I always um, get glue on my fingers. That's but, right. <laughs> but you might be able to do something on a computer and send it. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. And then it's not too late. You can you can still make a That's make correct. a bra. So tell us about that. We need bra makers. We always love our bra makers. They literally are the ones that are uplifting our show. Um, so deadline is October 9th. 
for registration. And to then the all the rules, the bra size, everything is on there. Everything. And I know that website, but you're going to tell me too. It is, is brahaha.org. You can't forget that. Brahaha.org. Okay. And then, but there is a fee. That, there that is. is right? It is 25 um, to register a bra. Um, and the contest is open to everyone. Cool. And then uh, let's make sure we've got all our information in here. How do you judge them? I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to decide. Like, I'm looking at these two right here right now. And they both, to me, are equally fantastic. So, so we get a panel of guest judges um, from around the community every year uh, uh, that come in. And honestly, I think they have the hardest mm -hmm. job. Um, and they have to decide what in the categories is, is going to be the winners. Where do you think, where, where do the proceeds go? I mean, where- The proceeds you know? stay right here in Hampton Roads. Awesome. Um, that is the amazing thing. Um, it helps women that are underinsured um, that might not have access to mammography and it helps our mobile mammography unit as well, right here locally. Wow. This so much fun, so much creativity, so much art. Uh, thanks a lot for coming, Katie. Uh, yes. So it's brahaha.org, everybody. October 9th is your deadline. And Greenbrier Dillard's and Lynn Haven Mall. That's right, right, Center Court. Thanks so much for coming, Katie. Look out for the bras this October and participate in the brahaha. We'll see you next time on Peak Life. I'm Jim Hazel. Be safe out there and don't forget to wear your mask.